It was the Passover. And Jesus gathered with his closest friends in the upper room to share the special meal. As they entered, he took off his outer robe and began to wash their feet. The master, the son of God, washing the feet of his disciples. This was rather strange because usually this would be a task that was designated for a servant or you wash your own feet. But here it was the master who was the servant. Peter objected and said, Lord, you shouldn't be washing my feet. I should be washing yours. Jesus said, unless I wash your feet, then, then you have no share with me. To which Peter replied, then not just my feet, but my hands and head also. Jesus was showing his followers that no one is too great to serve. And that's what we're all called to do is to come and serve. That's how he began this special meal on that holy night, which was the night in which he was betrayed. And as he gathered around, he took bread. He gave thanks and he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He gave thanks and gave it to all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Just as Jesus shared this meal with his disciples, we thank you, God, that he continues to share this meal with all of us so that as we gather around this table, our tables at home, our tables at church, our tables wherever we are that join us together, we know that we are united in God's love and that he is present in, with, and under the bread and the wine. And for that, we give you thanks, Almighty God. And we ask that you would forgive our sins of this meal and give us the strength, the strength for the journey ahead. And then we ask that you join us together and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the body of Christ given for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. Now, my friends, now my family, may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? Oh, my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are wholly enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our trans ancestors trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not human, scorned by others and despised by the people. 
All who seek me mock at me. They make mouths at me. They shake their heads. Commit your calls to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe on my mother's breast. On you I cast from my birth. And since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many bulls encircle me. Strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among themselves. And for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far away. O help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. From the horns of the wild oxen you have rescued me. I will tell of your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of the congregation I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he did not despise or abhor the affliction of the afflicted, but he did not hide his face from me but heard when I cried to him. From you comes all praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall be praised, shall praise the Lord. May our hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. To him, indeed, shall all who sleep in the earth bow down. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, and I shall live for him. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it.